This is the third part and I will show you how to operate now with decibel values, adding, building an average if you have more than just one value. With a calculator, just with your head, I'll show you an easy trick to do that, uh, or later if you have with professional equipment, okay? Let's start simple. We have 60 decibel and we want to add another 60 decibel. What is that? You don't need to know what actually is a reference point in your decibel calculation. It's obviously we have two times the same reference, okay? That's why we want to add it, okay? Um, so all you need to know is, is this a decibel value and then add it like this. So what I would do is, as it's 10 times the power of six, forget the zero, plus 10 times the power of six again. This, again, go back, logarithmic by 10, and this is your decibel value of the summation. So this is 10 high of six plus six, 10, six. This is two million uh, logarithmic multiplied with 10, 63 decibel, okay? By this, you can always calculate the summation of decibel values. And now comes my little trick. You can also say this is 10 by the power of six twice and have this in this calculation. And there's a rigorous rule that tells you if there's a multiplication, you can separate it to a plus. So actually you can calculate 10 times the logarithmic of 10 times by six plus 10 times the logarithmic of two, okay? This you know, <laughs> this is your starting value of 60 decibels and you add two logarithmic 10, three plus three decibel. Every time the second summand has the same value than the first summand, you will always add three decibel, 63 decibel. So if you calculate 10 decibel plus 10 decibel, it is 13 decibel without calculation. 0 decibel plus 0 decibel, it is, no thinking, 3 decibel. <laughs> In the beginning you want to test it, okay? So this is 0, 10 by the power of 0, plus 0, 10 by the power of 0, this is 2, logarithmic, multiply with 10, it's, it's, it's 3. Damn, this is easy. And this magic also works if there's a difference between the two values you like to add. Hold on, okay. Let me draw some calculation work task for you. 60 plus 58, 60 plus 54, plus 50 and 60 plus 45. The idea is one value will always be higher than the other one. This will stay and the other will only add a little bit. Maximum would be plus three. Here in the beginning we have two decibel difference. The delta is two. Keep in mind if two decibel are missing, you just have to add two decibel. If the difference is six decibel, you only have to add one decibel. So the difference is 10 decibel, then you only had to add 0.4. And if the difference is higher than 10 decibel, <laughs> then just give it, yeah, just <laughs> nothing. So by knowing this, you can now calculate 60 plus 58, that means it's 62. 60 plus 45, this is 61. 60 plus 50, oh, this is 60.4, and 60 plus 45 is still 60 without typing, okay? This is so fast, yeah? Just keep this area in mind and you are quite impressive. So let me check now if you already got it, all right? This is a first test for you, <laughs> let's see. So what is 110 decibel plus 112 decibel? In your head, come on. This is the higher, two difference, delta, it's 140 decibel. You can type it, I'm right. Next one. What is 10 decibel plus zero decibel? Come on. This is 10 difference. This is 10.4 decibel. Okay. Now we come to the initial question. What is one decibel plus one decibel? Not zero, not one, not two. It's four decibel. So easy, so fast, so intuitive. So you can impress people with that. And not in the disco, but, um, but in real life here on work as acoustic engineer, yes, you can. Averaging. We want to calculate the average between 40 decibel and 35 decibel on average. What do you expect? Probably would not be 37.5. This is just in the middle. It will be a little bit closer to the 40. Let's see. 
This is 10 by the power of 4 plus 10 by the power of 3.5. Of course, now we have to divide the summation by the number of summands. So here divided by 1, 2, by 2. And then we can calculate the logarithmic and multiply with 10 to get our decibel value. That's something we can type. Divided by 2, logarithmic, multiply with 10. 38, you might say 38.2 is not that much bigger than 37.5, which would be the rhythmic value in between these 40 and 35. But keep in mind we have decibel. If we average 40 decibel with zero decibel, that means actually nothing is added, nothing of importance. We'll just divide it in the calculation by two. Hold on, if it's multiplied with two, it's plus three. If you divide it over, it's minus three. So if you add almost nothing, your result will be 37 decibel. You can't drop lower than minus three decibel if you add just one more value. So this is the average effect. You have one loud value in your measurement and you average with some smaller values, the so change will be really small. Averaging is a quite common calculation method in acoustics because you average over time. A decibel value of one hour running of a washing machine or eight hours working in a special place this value is calculated all the time in the end is average over the full time circuit. So the calculation is quite simple. We have a lot of values and they are multiplied with the time of this analysis plus it's more always the same. And in the end you divide it by the two full circle time you have of the full measurement and then calculate the logarithmic multiplied by 10. Okay, this is the basic behind it. But of course every second Maybe there's another value added. There's nothing you do on a calculator. You need professional equipment like this machine can do for you. Okay, this is the current value. Ma. Ma. <laughs> okay, they pick up the maximum value and the minimum value and averaging. This is uh, all these values in here. Um, if you want to know how loud it is, you have to be careful with these devices. Um, they only show you the decibel values. Decibel value means the energy in the wave. Um, people think it's most of the time is how loud is it? Okay, but there's a loudness, which normally are not in these devices here. Um, loudness is something else. This is how loud it appears to human being. Let me uh, compare that here. This is a page one, the first one we have. Um, this is a decibel value you have. And if you can say, if it's plus 10 decibel and it appears to be doubled as, as loud, okay, loudness. And if it's plus 20 decibel, then it's like multiply with four times. Oh, this is four times louder. That's the human thinking. You always compare one noise with another noise. Ah, this is double as loud, three times as loud, okay. This can be done with loudness. How can you calculate now from a decibel value to loudness value? This is not possible, okay because it's a completely different approach of sound waves, all right? Um, decibel catches energy in the wave physically, way, and loudness is catched by a human ear with a perception with all these anatomy effects inside. There are masking effects, the time response effect, there's so many effects. I, I make a video just about the difference between loudness and decibel values. It's just a full video to explain dBA, dB, dB, dBc weighting and loudness in comparison. To you. It's already there. For you, it's important is if you want to know how loud it appears and what energy is inside of the sound wave, you need to go back to the real measurement, to the time data of the measurement. Okay? Once you have decided to go for decibel or you go for loudness, you can't go crossways. You know? always go back on the time cycle. But there are also devices which work on time data and therefore can apply all the analysis you need in acoustics. Here, for example, um, there you can see loudness versus time. There it is and there it is in zone. What I like about loudness is if I don't see anything, the value drops to zero. And I'm speaking loud. Yeah? It goes up to 100. It's also a quite native scaling, but it's linear. It's very easy to work with and to calculate with that. Okay. Uh, to, for comparison, if I go back to level versus time and make a loud noise up to 100 and I don't see anything, it goes down to 50. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this is NRT thinking, but it's not human perception. Okay. Um, the cool thing about these devices is they can also record the time data, the pure raw data. and 
So you can decide later on if you want to have a DBA, DBD, DBC level or just want to know how loud it appears to a human being. Okay, this is something you can still go back on your time data and analyze it one more time in a software. Show you the principle in time, okay? So we just record the time data, just like this. <clears throat> Ma, and I'll try to be a double as loud. Ma, okay, should be enough. And now to the software. 